Welcome to Healing Horses Sanctuary. Um, surrounded right now by some of our former rescue horses. Um, Marty here was one of our projects. Jackie. Um, Jackie was found abandoned in a backyard and a property sale. Marty here, she came out of a riding school. They were going to euthanize her because she kept coming up lame. Hi, Teddy. Hello, this is Teddy, a.k.a. Theo. Came to us from a Washington auction a year and a half ago. Extremely underweight. We're still trying to get his weight up. Um, he's about 14 years old. He was the last horse on the lot. He was headed out the next day for the slaughterhouse. And uh, well, our heart broke for him. And so we stuck him on the truck with the rest of the kids. We uh, brought home about six horses from the auction that weekend. And let's see, over here we have Nina. Nina! Come on, sweetie. Oh, no teeth, no teeth, no teeth, no teeth. Come here. No, shh, nah. Come on, be a good girl. There you go, see? Mommy's not gonna hurt you, you know she never hurts you. Don't even think of it. Um, this is Jazzy. She's a really good stock. Uh, however, nobody's had time to spend with her and actually train her. So she's hopefully going to be on our retraining program. And uh, once we get uh, her under saddle and trained up, she'll be also somebody's, you know, light, uh, light trail riding pony. So we lease this property. Right now we're leasing 10 acres here. And as you can see, it's in bad need of some major, major repairs. Which is always difficult because you don't really want to put putting in a whole lot of money into a piece of property that you know you're never going to be retrieve any value out of it. So we rely mostly on donations and people's volunteer time to come and help us mend fences and whatever else needs to be done around here. The thing that differentiates us from a lot of other horse rescues is we will rescue what we call the hard cases. Um, those are generally horses that already have some either serious training issues or might have some medical issues that are treatable and fixable but have never been dealt with. Um, we've been operating uh, the sanctuary for about five years now officially although I had started rescuing the odd horse here and there um, many years ago but uh, we officially became a registered society about five. Uh, we have a board of directors and we are accountable for funds that we raise. Um, most, of our most of our veterinary costs uh, for the rescue horses are covered through donations and fundraising programs. Um, and those cover everything from our basic daily and yearly veterinary expenses, medicines, shots, deworming, and so forth. And the extraordinary funds go towards helping the horses who are in long-term care who need um, things like operations, surgery, um, and other things to make them viable horses again. And our long-term goal is actually to be able to expand our facilities um, we'd like to, at some point, get onto about 40 acres or more so we can actually expand the operation and help more horses, especially the ones that are in the longer, longer need. So we'd like to expand our sanctuary from an average of about 10 horses a year that we work with to double that if we could. Uh, and that's all the question of property. All funds that we have raised through different fundraising activities have all gone 100% to uh, veterinary care. Um, as far as the overhead keep, right now um, I'm covering all the costs for both my working horses as well as for the rescue horses um, out of monies that we can earn out of trail riding. And we donate anywhere from 25 to 35% of our earnings to help the rescue horses.